There are three main players in the VR ecosystem. We have Meta with their standalone headsets, we have Valve with their aging PC VR headset and software, and then we have Pico that a year ago decided to bring some real competition to the Meta dominance with their top spec VR headset, the Pico 4. Hey Ty here, so welcome to the VR Tech channel. Do you know who tries when there's competition in an emerging market? You guessed it. Us. Pico has been pushing to create content parity for a while, pushing big updates to the platform in form of features and games, and now they're going to do something particularly cool to push even more apps and games to their system. So they asked me to showcase one of their new projects in this video. Something that involves all of us, a big pool of money to draw from, ideas, and yeah, over $50,000. So let's welcome the 2023 Pico Dev Jam, an hackathon created in collaboration with Intel for devs and also people like me without any development background, but with big ideas. So if you have an idea or a project for a game, an app that you wanna make a reality and make some money out of it, well, this might be the thing for you. And also this gives us a glimpse of what to expect from the future from Pico. We already saw some rumors. So well, let's discover it together in this video. Let's get into it. So this is the Pico Dev Jam, set to take place this year, 2023, from September 25th to December 10th. And it will be a competition hackathon between devs, big and small, students, and people like us. Open to everyone in the US, Europe, South Asia, Japan, and China, and also Korea. With the purpose of bringing XR, MR experiences, demo, games, tools, ideas, apps to the platform. Because yes, we're talking about MR and XR applications. Not many people know that the Pico 4 doesn't have just a very high resolution pass through, but that pass through thanks to a new software update can be used also to create mixed reality to have holograms in your environment and unlock new kind of games. This is all thanks to the new Pico Sense Pack and the new Pico Interactive Pack that will have to be used and considered in your creations. If you're a big dev, you probably know that already, so you can skip that part, but for regular mortals like us, what are cardos? The Pico Sense Pack is a part of the new SDK to utilize the sensor on the headset to actually understand better the environment around you with the new space calibration and spatial anchor support. Space calibration will adapt your real world to the virtual world. You're now able to calibrate walls, doors, windows, tables, sofas, TVs, well, everything, enabling them to interact with the virtual objects. For example, you can not shoot through your sofa and a zombie will not be able to go through it. You can actually try this already and set up your room with the latest Pico update and prepare your headset already for all these creations. About spatial anchor, we instead anchor, of course, virtual objects in the real world to create something persistent with its position in the real world. So you can place something virtual in the room and have it always in the same position, no matter of your position in space. This is great also when talking about multiplayer experiences. Imagine a virtual table, a racetrack being integrated part of your experience of your room. Also starting with version 2.3.0, developers can use the SDK in conjunction with the Unity and Unreal engines to actually start to create their MR, XR applications. Talking about the Pico Interactive Pack, here we talk about everything that we use to interact with the virtual world and a new update now arrived to the hand tracking that now has more accurate finger tracking to reproduce better the end poses, intelligent occlusion detections to handle better the tracking when your hands actually overlap and to avoid tracking anomalies. Natural virtual hands representation and stable trajectory tracking when showing the hands even out of the tracking field of view in a more natural way or to handle very fast movements. Very cool thing is that the new hand tracking also supports open XR, so it will be much easier to port it from different platforms. Good job there. For the dev gem, remember to use the new SDK as it's not gonna be compatible with the older one. Also, I told you there were some surprises about the future of Pico here, right? Yeah, well, these new SDK features are actually giving us a glimpse on what to expect from the next generation headset from Pico. Because 2.3.0 introduces the support for eye tracking for the other rendering, rendering the image at full resolution when you're looking at, and then saving a lot of resources for the peripheral view. And by the way, eye tracking is not present in a consumer Pico 4, so hopefully something will arrive soon. Oh, and the second feature is actually face tracking to capture the facial user's expressions. Something like we saw with some accessories from Vive or Native on the MetaQuest Pro, for example, but not yet on Pico. 
This could be great if you're talking about social applications like VR chat, for example, to enhance our metaverse presence. I can't wait to hear more about it for sure. Pick of five, anybody? So with all of these bases, how do we compete? How do we get the money? Well, first of all, the idea is to redefine XR and creating something innovative. So build a new MR XR app demo, gain tool of experience prototype built with Pico Interaction Pack and Pico Sense Pack that fits within the 2023 Pico Dev Jam team. These MR XR innovation ideas, they have to fall in these scenarios for games design and interaction, for work and efficiency improvement, for entertainment, finance, medical, daily life scenarios, for multi-user scenes in all above settings, and any mobile app converted to 3D or VR app that may draw more user retention. So once you have your idea, your vertical slice, your demo ready, we get to the second step. Submit your work on DevPost. That will have to happen between October 2nd and November 10th. But remember to register to the Akaton from September 25th. Hey, these are the requirements. PPT, five to 10 pages, or video, three to five minutes. To explain and demonstrate your project idea in action could be a MP4 file or hosted publicity on a video streaming platform like YouTube. That is my favorite. The video must include an explanation of the project is built using Pico Sense Pack and Pico Interactive Pack. A text description explaining the functionality and specific development tool feature used in the project and provide access to your working project for judging and testing. After submitting your ideas, of course, we're getting to the real competition. From November 11 to November 30th, it's time for the judgment. You get points in base of different categories, up to 100 points. The higher score you get, the better placement, of course. 20 points for challenge fit include how well the submitting work is aligned with the overall challenge team redefining XR beyond imagination into innovation. 30 points for quality of ideas includes creativity and originality of the idea. 30 points for technical execution includes a well Pico 4, Pico Interactive Pack and Pico Sense Pack and other Pico tooling were leveraged by the developer. 10 points for presentation readiness includes how clearly laid out and refined the submitted work in the PPT video or YouTube submission materials. And lastly, 10 points for potential impact includes the extent to which the created work can be widely useful or favored. And of course, now we will get to the money. These are the prizes that you can win in cash for your creation with big prizes for every region you're competing in, starting with $300 for the fifth place up to $1,500 for the third place $3,000 for the second and a whopping $8,000 for the first in every region. Nice! But don't worry, it's not just about the best of the best, you can also win via different awards as the best game app or best non-game app for $1,000 each. Best VR design, best end gesture implementations. So yeah, there's a space for everyone apparently. That's cool. Oh, by the way, the winners will be announced on December 10th, so it's the perfect time to then spend all the money on uh, the holiday season. <laughs> cool. But by the way, this is a Pico Dev Jam, a supercharged catalyst for new MR application and games coming to the platform. As you might know, I use my Pico 4 a lot and I can wait to see all of these creations come to fruition and finally try them on mine. So are you ready for the jackpot? Do you have any particular ideas or apps that you would like to present in the Pico Dev Jam competition hackathon? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to check out the description for all the details about the competition as well. This is all for me. Thanks for Pico for making this video possible to keep pushing for a better VR, AR, AMR ecosystem because yeah, we surely need more competition here. So far, as always, if you liked the video, like, if you didn't like the video, like, subscribe to the channel for more VR tech. If you really love the channel, join button on there. Little further, also the Patreon. Thanks to all the Patreons and the channel, of course. I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.